throwing on it. So cool. Oh. All right, what is going on guys? So I've had a few people asking um, for like my advice on how to work jerk baits, glide baits, etc. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take 10 minutes out today, show you guys how I like to work them, different ways you can work them, and like what's enjoyable about it basically. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you a few different jerks, glides, whatever, different styles, and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll learn something. Hopefully it gives you a bit more confidence to go out and try some glide baits, jerk baits, whatever. So yeah, flip it around and I'll show you a few things if I can. Oh. All right guys, so I've not brought a ton out with me. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but I thought I might as well do it while I'm out. But yeah, I've got a few. They've all got, di they've all different brands. They've all got different actions. Some have got tails, some don't, but they're all glide baits, basically, jerk baits. Um, Someone like this, sort of borderline of what you call uh, a glide bait or a tail bait, but it's still it's still a glide bait. You still put action into it yourself, or you can straight retrieve it, whichever. So, yeah, I'll show you basically how different ones look. Um, every glide bait is different. Or jerk, I'm just going to call them jerk baits for this video. They're all the same. Glide bait, jerk bait, whatever. Everyone from every different band is different. They all work in a slightly different way. And every single one, you've got your own opportunity to put your own little flair on how it swims, basically. Um, some of them have got a really tight weave, like this Western Swim, what I've got now. It's very, very tight, fast action. Um, you can just straight retrieve it for a slower one. You can half wind on the reel, or you can do it with your tip of your rod. It's entirely up to you. You can fish it fast, you can fish it slow. You can put pauses in, you, you can not put pauses in. Um, and that's the beauty of like um, jet bait fishing, you can put your own flair on it really. Your own, um, your own style onto your fishing and the way you work a jet bait can really make a difference of a catch or a non-catch really. A lot of people tend to work them in the same ways I've seen other people doing it. Um, I'll do, they'll do the same same retrieve on the way back they'll do sort of a jerk jerk pause jerk jerk pause but for me it's mix it up we do four or five jerks a couple of really fast jerks big pause etc and uh, that's what brings the beauty into jerk bait fishing you can fish them in however you enjoy fishing them basically and you can match a jerk bait for any situation. You can fish them really, really slow. You can fish them really fast. You can fish them really aggressive, really uh, non-aggressive. Some with a big rattle, some silent ones. So yeah, basically I'll just show you this. Western swim, straight retrieving. She glides beautifully, if you can see that. So you, with this, you, you can just straight retrieve it throw, throw a few pauses in there but just straight retrieve it like this not a problem you'll still catch i've caught a fish on a straight retrieve i've got them on a, a trolled western swim to be fair that's how it shows how uh that you can fish them on a straight retrieve so you can do that you can fish them on the reel half lines quarter lines full lines throw a few pauses or not whatever Fish them on the rod tip. This take this just takes very gentle taps of the rod tip to get it going. Too much like this, you'll you'll tangle it. Gentle taps, a few pauses, do a bit of straight retrieve, back to rod tip, like just totally mix it up and a fish a fish can get used to a rhythm of a jet bait quite easy and realise that it's not natural at all. Whereas if you mix if you're mixing it up every uh, few wines, it's something different then uh yeah you've got much more chance of inducing a strike that way rather than just doing a, a standard retrieve you could do it to a, to a bit of a song if you wanted or just however however you feel also um a bait like this you can fish it on a draw sink and draw basically 
see the bait work on that rod tip and uh, yeah when you when you go for that rewind it gets a nice pause that's where you're going to expect them to smash into it but yeah that's that one quite an aggressive bait tons and tons of different ways of working it and we'll go switch to something on the opposite end of this spectrum uh so that's on care to scaring i think it's called not aggressive at all this one you can't really work this half as fast as that western swim It does glide on a straight retrieve, like the swim, but it's such a wide glide compared to the tight western swim. You can see that. Very wide, slow glide on the jerks. Much wider, slower turn on that body. You can't work. You can't work it in as fast as a swim. Nowhere near. But again different scenarios you're going to uh, require different retrieve styles aren't you so something that's a bit of a slower retrieve like this could just be perfect for that and again this one you can work on the tip just a bit bit slower a bit bigger rod tip movements work it on the reel same again just slow it down a bit once you're kind of in tune with a bait, you can you can get a feel for how it's working without, without seeing it. When you're first beginning, you might want to um, fish somewhere where you can see your lures working, so you can get a feeling for how it's actually what what movements make it do what. If you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, nice side to side glide on this. Just can't do it. Bring it back in quite as fast as that swim. Big suspend. Yeah. And again, same. Do it with your own flare. Big pauses, short pauses. Pause a bait like this for like five seconds if you wanted. Do some more twitches. Big pause again more twitches especially in the colder months you might want to put some bigger pauses in if you're in an area where you know there's some pike so yeah that's a different style this one's uh silent now you get glide baits for tails like this um so that's on coming tail. Now this one doesn't have a swimming action on a straight retrieve. Which is sort of like you'll still catch fish like that because the tail's going. But you need to impart the action with either rod tip or with your reel on a bait like this. Um, so again, you can fish it straight retrieve like I just said. But you can fish it a bit more aggressively with the rod tip this one. Or with the reel. And... Again, just put your own mark on it. It's uh, it takes practice to get into jerk bait fishing. I'm not going to lie about that. It's um, yeah, something you do need to work on. When I first started using jerks, I, I couldn't do it. Put a lot of time into it and find out what patterns of movement attract the fish, and yeah, you'll you'll be catching in no time really. Wish you could see this working now with how I'm doing the reel and the rod. Hopefully when it gets a bit closer. It's a super nice side to side glide on it. It's uh yeah, it really is can be a joy to use this bait if you see that there. Just work that same all the way back. If you want to pause, you can. If you want to speed it up or slow it down in any points, you can. But yeah. This is sometimes you've got to tune the tail on these. If it's slightly off, you'll you'll not get a good glide. This is one I like to work with the rod tip as opposed to the reel, like the Western Swim. The Western Swim, I do prefer a reel jerk on that. This one, I'll uh, happily work with rod tip all day long. Like, I can do it with the reel if I need to, but it's good fun to use rod tip for this one. Again, you can mix it up, you can make it go crazy and do whatever you want really 
doesn't have to be a perfect side to side to get a strike from a fish. Do a fast pause, fast pause, slow and fast and then pause. Just a bit of slow and then a pause. Short fast twitches, pause. A few more twitches, pause. Big stretch of speed, pause. Bit of a straight wind, pause. And yeah, mix it up. And you'll uh, you'll get a strike if there's fishing area. Like I've had a ton of fish on this, just not even looking like I'm doing anything with it. Just ripping it back a few pauses and they'll smash it. And another one with a tail. Guppy, one of my all-time favourite glide baits this. Um, changed to a bigger tail on this so it doesn't glide quite as wide as it used to do with the smaller one. But you'll see on a straight retrieve, you get a nice tight glide on this. Um, I've caught them trolling this, so obviously we'll just work on the straight retrieve. I've found it's quite a hard bait to tangle, so you can fish it like really quite aggressively without having to worry about tangling. Like um, the Western Swim, fish it just slightly too aggressive, it'll go backward, back on itself and tangle. This you can, you can really go at it, it's, it makes a good beginner's jerk race really. Super, super easy to use and again, rod tip. Real straight retrieve pauses like it really is a way to make fishing lure fishing truly your own. Like this is hopefully I can show you this glide here, super nice. This one as well, hopefully, if you can see, it's got, it's got a nice little wiggle, little shimmy on the way down. That tail goes, and a pause, a, a pause on this, you've still got that little bit of action going. It's, Amazing really, such a good bait. Yeah, I'm not sure what else I can say about these really now. Like this one, swims on, swims in. Um, fish it straight retrieve, real jerk, rod tip jerk. This one's got no action on a straight retrieve, but get a nice wide action on a rod tip or reel. Easier on a rod tip in my opinion. Western swim, super tight action. Quite easy to tangle if you go a bit over the top with your retrieve. This one, slower than the Western swim, but a bit, kind of a similar action. I'll show you this one real quick. This is a custom jerk. Um, this is sort of like a cross between the swim and the Tiscaran. It's uh show you got a nice gliding on its own, but it doesn't tangle quite as easy as the swim. So you can fish this a lot more aggressive. See that there. Fish this more aggressive than swim, get longer pauses. Yeah, super nice bait to use. Rare I've tangled on this. I've caught fish on a troll with this, so you know it works on the straight retrieve, definitely. <laughs> um yeah, it's just really need to get a feel for it yourself and see what your what your style is with it really. Like some people will just want to work with the tip, some people want ones that they can fish on a straight retrieve and just throw some pauses in. Some people like just real fishing. Um and yeah, how you work the jerk can affect your cast rate, uh, catch rate massively. Like I've fished with someone using the same bait or a very similar bait and the catch rate between me and them has been like really big fishing off a boat in the same place and you know just slight things you do with your jerk bait but a lot of that comes with watercraft after you've been fishing for a while you, you kind of figure out what works when to pause when to speed it up and yeah so that's about it hopefully you've learned something i mean i'm not really that much of a teacher but there's um yeah it's something you just need to put some time into make it your own really there's no set way of doing it 
<coughs> you can't really do it wrong unless you're tangling your baits up. So, yeah, get out there, get some jerks cast about, and see if we can get some pike caught. Really is a lot nicer putting the action in yourself. You know, when when you get a hit, you, you be retrieving normally. You, you do something slightly different that you know. You put a little bit of speed and then a pause, and then you get a smash. It's, it feels so good. Like, yeah. So that's about it. Hopefully, you've learned something there. I'm going to sit the western swimmer and carry on with that because I've just just had a nice fish on this. So keep fishing with this at rest of the session. Well, probably unless I don't get out else. But yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully, you learned something. Um, if you want any more videos like how to's and stuff like that, I'm not very good at that sort of thing, but if you want to see them, I can make them. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Hope you subscribe if you want to, and yeah, catch you in the next video, guys. <laughs>